The sudden absence of Craig Tester from the Oak Island treasure hunt has sent ripples of speculation and curiosity through the dedicated fan base and followers of The Curse of Oak Island. Tester, known for his analytical mind, engineering expertise, and significant financial investment in the hunt, has been a central figure in the quest for the island's elusive secrets. His departure prompts speculations and theories, adding yet another layer of intrigue. What happened to Craig Tester? Was he fired from the show? Join us as we reveal why Craig left the show. The Oak Island treasure tale is like a real-life story about pirates without the parrot on the shoulders. People started talking about hidden pirate money and lost treasures on the island as early as the 1700s. Over time, this legend has grown to include tales of mysterious symbols, deep holes, traps, and even cursed treasure that, according to legend, take the lives of those who seek it. According to legend, seven people must die before the treasure can be found. So far, the island has lived up to its reputation. Spoiler alert, it has already caused six deaths. The Curse of Oak Island is a TV show that started on January 6, 2014, on the History Channel. It's about the Legina brothers, Marty and Rick, who are from Kingsford, Michigan. They try to find out the secrets of Oak Island. The show follows their adventures and misadventures as they use new technology and help from other treasure hunters to dig in places no one has dug before. Now, Craig Tester is a key player in this band of modern-day explorers. Imagine him as the brains of the operation, the guy who can look at a pile of dirt and see potential. With a background in engineering, Craig's the one you'd want to have around. When you're trying to figure out if digging in a certain spot is going to lead to treasure or just a lot more dirt, his technical know-how and problem-solving skills are crucial, especially when the team's dealing with the island's many, many mysteries. But what makes Craig stand out isn't just his brain power, it's his connection to the team. He's not just a colleague, he's family. This guy has been through thick and thin with the Leginas, and their bond is a big part of what keeps them all pushing forward, even when the going gets tough. And on Oak Island, the going gets tough a lot. Craig's contributions go beyond just planning where to dig or helping navigate the labyrinth of booby traps, because yes, Oak Island apparently comes complete with its own set of Indiana Jones-style booby traps. He's also there to lend a steady hand and a calm voice of reason when the treasure hunt feels more like a wild goose chase. And let's not forget the rest of the crew. Jack Begley with his boundless energy, Dan Hensky with his deep knowledge of the island's history, Charles Barkhouse, the local history buff, and Peter Fornetti, the young gun eager to prove his mettle. Each member brings their own flavor to the mix, making the team not just a group of treasure hunters but a dynamic crew, each with their own quirks and expertise. Together, they're more than just a team. They're a treasure-hunting family. With each new dig, dive, and discovery, they're not just uncovering the mysteries of Oak Island. They're creating a legacy that's as much about their camaraderie and adventures as it is about the hunt for treasure. And that's what keeps us tuning in, season after season. It's not just the lure of gold and ancient artifacts, it's the journey with these guys, watching them laugh, struggle, and keep on digging in the face of all odds. Now that's the real treasure. Alrighty, let's zoom in on Craig Tester, the man who's a bit like the Swiss Army knife of the Oak Island treasure hunt. A dude who's not only got the brains of an engineer, but also the heart of a true adventurer. That's Craig for you. Craig hails from good old Glendale, California. He's not your average Joe. The guy's got an engineering degree that speaks volumes of his knack for solving puzzles and fixing things. Imagine the kind of guy who, as a kid, probably loved taking stuff apart just to see how it worked. That curiosity, it never left him. But Craig's story takes an interesting turn in college. Picture this, a young Craig, engineering books in one hand and, well, let's say a metaphorical shovel in the other, dreaming of hunting for treasure. It's during these college days, amidst calculus and physics, that he meets Marty Legina. They're roommates, and guess what? They both find out they're obsessed with the idea of finding hidden treasures. Talk about fate. Now, before Craig got into the whole Oak Island saga, he was making waves in the oil industry. Yep, the guy took his engineering prowess and dove headfirst into the black gold. He and Marty teamed up, and together, they struck it rich. 
But here's the kicker. Despite the success, the call of adventure, of finding something more, something historic and potentially world-changing, was too strong to ignore. So, how does a successful engineer with a comfortable life get tangled up in the muddy, booby-trapped world of Oak Island? Passion, my friends. Craig's lifelong fascination with treasure hunting, combined with his and Marty's resources, thanks to their oil biz success, led them to become key players in the Oak Island treasure hunt. They weren't just dipping their toes in. They were diving headfirst into the cold Nova Scotian waters. Craig brought to the table not just financial backing, but a mind engineered, pun intended, to solve the kind of problems Oak Island threw at them. Whether it's deciphering ancient clues or figuring out how to drain a swamp filled with who knows what, Craig's your guy. His engineering background turned out to be just as valuable as a centuries-old treasure map. Craig's journey on the show is like a roller coaster ride filled with ups, downs, and loop the loops of excitement. The man's not just along for the ride, he's in the driver's seat, steering the team through some of the most jaw dropping moments on the hunt. First off, Craig's engineering genius has been a game changer for the team. Remember that time when they needed to figure out the complex flood tunnel system? Craig was all over it, applying his engineering skills to devise strategies that made the rest of us go, why didn't I think of that? He's like the MacGyver of Oak Island, turning complex problems into aha moments with a mix of science, technology, and good old-fashioned ingenuity. In a world where wild theories and speculation run rampant, Craig's rational approach is a breath of fresh air. He's the guy who, when faced with the latest theory about alien involvement or time-traveling Templars, will raise an eyebrow and bring the conversation back down to Earth. But don't get me wrong, he's not a buzzkill. Instead, Craig's the team's anchor, ensuring every hypothesis is grounded in reality, or as close to reality as you can get when you're hunting for treasure on a cursed island. One of Craig's standout moments has to be the discovery of what could be one of the most significant finds on Oak Island. When the team unearthed that mysterious piece of parchment, Craig's expertise was front and center. His excitement was contagious, reminding us why we all love this treasure hunt in the first place. It's not just about the gold or the jewels, it's about the thrill of discovery, of uncovering history piece by piece. Craig embodies this spirit, his eyes lighting up with every significant find as if to say, this is why we're here. Craig's leadership and contributions go beyond just the technical. He's a mentor, a guide, and at times the voice of reason when the quest seems to hit a dead end. His commitment to the hunt, even in the face of setbacks, inspires his team and the viewers at home. We watch as he tackles each new challenge with a mix of optimism and realism showing us that the true treasure isn't just what's buried under the ground, it's the journey itself. In the grand tapestry of the Curse of Oak Island, Craig Tester is a thread that's both vibrant and essential. His contributions, both big and small, have not only propelled the team forward, but have also captivated audiences worldwide. Through his rational approach, innovative solutions, and moments of sheer excitement, Craig has proven time and again that he's not just behind the mystery, he's at the very heart of it. Now let's delve into some of the key findings with the assistance of Craig Tester's expertise, the copper coin. The discovery of a potentially British copper coin from the late 1600s to early 1700s on Oak Island is a testament to the island's long-standing mystery and allure for treasure hunters. This find, particularly on Lot 6, hints at early British presence or activity, adding another layer to the complex history of the island. Craig Tester, an integral member of the Oak Island Exploration Team, has played a crucial role in this and many other discoveries on the island. His background as an engineer, specializing in drilling and resistivity, earth scans, has been instrumental in the team's efforts to locate and plan new dig operations. Tester's expertise is not just limited to his engineering skills. His past in the oil business with Marty Legina where he honed his skills in determining where to dig and how the digs should be conducted, has been invaluable to the Oak Island treasure hunt. This experience has translated well into his role in the treasure hunt, where he has been a critical figure in decision-making processes regarding excavation sites and methodologies. His approach to securing permissions for digs and navigating through legal and environmental regulations showcases his commitment and thoroughness in the pursuit of uncovering Oak Island secrets. 
Despite the challenges and often tempered expectations due to the elusive nature of the treasure, Tester's contributions have significantly advanced the exploration efforts on Oak Island. Craig Tester's journey on Oak Island is a reflection of his resilience, expertise, and dedication to uncovering the past. His ability to leverage his engineering background coupled with his practical experience in the oil industry has enabled the team to pursue their quest with an informed and strategic approach. As the exploration of Oak Island continues, Tester's role underscores the importance of technical knowledge and persistence in unraveling historical mysteries, the King Charles II coin. The discovery of a coin bearing the likeness of King Charles II, dated 1673 on Oak Island's Lot 16, during an exploration conducted in The Curse of Oak Island, is a significant find that adds to the evidence of British presence on the island during the 17th century. This coin, alongside another dated 1694, suggests that the area may have been frequented or utilized by individuals during a period when the British monarchy, restored under Charles II in 1660, was re-establishing its power and reach. The coins, especially the one from 1673, serve as tangible links to a time of intense political, social, and economic change in England and its expanding territories. The presence of these coins on Oak Island could be aligned with theories suggesting that treasures or artifacts were buried on the island by those associated with historical figures or events, such as pirates or British military expeditions. One prevailing theory suggests that the Money Pit, where numerous artifacts have been found, might have been originally excavated by the crew of Sir William Phipps, a known treasure hunter of the time. This theory is further supported by suggestions that the flood tunnels, which have baffled treasure hunters for centuries, could have been engineered by British military engineers and Cornish miners. This intricate theory proposes a direct link between the engineering marvels found on Oak Island and the British military's strategic efforts during the period. Moreover, the discovery of these coins amidst the exploration of Oak Island's mysterious history highlights the island's significance as a site of potential historical treasure troves. It opens up discussions about the myriad people who might have visited or used the island before the discovery of the money pit. Whether the coins were lost, intentionally buried as part of a larger cache, or remnants of a past settlement, they contribute to the complex tapestry of Oak Island's history, enticing both historians and treasure hunters with the promise of uncovering more secrets buried within its landscape. This find, while not immediately revealing the mysteries of Oak Island, adds a crucial piece to the puzzle of the island's past, suggesting that its story is far from fully told. As explorations like those of the Lagina brothers continue, each artifact unearthed, such as the King Charles II coin, serves as a clue in piecing together the historical narrative of Oak Island, a place that has captured the imaginations of many for centuries. The Bone Fragments the discovery of bone fragments in the Money Pit area of Oak Island added a profound layer of mystery and human history to the island's already enigmatic story. These fragments, unearthed from a depth of 160 to 165 feet below the surface, were not just remnants of the past, but bearers of untold stories, revealed through DNA analysis to be of Middle Eastern and European ancestries. Craig Tester, with his background in engineering and expertise in drilling and resistivity earth scans, played a pivotal role in this discovery. His methodical approach to the exploration of Oak Island, emphasizing the use of technology and scientific methods, has been instrumental in advancing the team's understanding of the island's subterranean secrets. Tester's expertise helped in strategically planning the dig operations that led to the discovery of these bone fragments showcasing the interdisciplinary nature of the Oak Island treasure hunt, where historical curiosity meets cutting-edge technology. This find, while raising more questions than it answers, underscores the rich tapestry of human activity that Oak Island has witnessed over the centuries. The DNA results suggest a confluence of cultures and histories, potentially rewriting the narrative of the island's past. As part of a broader search that has yielded a variety of artifacts from different periods and regions, including the Middle East, Europe, and possibly beyond, the discovery of these bone fragments highlights the island's significance as a site of historical and archaeological interest. 
Craig Tester's calm, cool, and collected demeanor, combined with his deep understanding of engineering principles and a wrestling background that hints at resilience and determination to tackle challenges head-on, has undoubtedly contributed to the team's success. As they continue to peel back the layers of Oak Island's mysteries, Tester's role as a key figure in the planning and execution of exploration strategies remains indispensable. The discovery of Lead Cross, the discovery of a medieval-style lead cross in Smith's Cove on Oak Island, dated between the 13th and 14th centuries, has stirred significant excitement and speculation, particularly regarding its potential connection to the Knights Templar. This lead cross, discovered by metal detecting expert Gary Drayton, has been one of the most significant finds on the island, suggesting a historical link to Europe and possibly to the enigmatic order of the Knights Templar, known for their role during the Crusades and their mysterious end. Tester, along with the team, engaged with Tobias Skowronek, a geochemist at the German Mining Museum, to further analyze the cross using laser ablation and compare the isotopic data to known metal sources worldwide. This scientific approach aimed to pinpoint the cross's origin more precisely, hoping to trace it back to a specific quarry or at least to a broad region such as England, thus providing clues about the artifact's journey to Oak Island. The investigation into the cross's origins revealed that the metal did not originate from North America, but likely from European deposits, specifically those in southern France, a region historically linked to the Knights Templar. This connection has led to speculation about the Templar's presence in North America before Columbus, potentially redefining the historical understanding of early European exploration and contact with the New World. The lead cross and its analysis represent a fusion of historical curiosity and modern scientific methodology. Craig Tester and the team's efforts to uncover the truth behind the Oak Island mystery exemplify the multidisciplinary approach required to solve one of history's most enduring puzzles. The findings related to the lead cross not only add a significant piece to the Oak Island treasure hunt, but also invite a reconsideration of known historical narratives, pointing to a much earlier European presence in North America. The jeweled brooch. The unearthing of a jeweled brooch on Lot 21, identified as potentially made of gold and pure copper, marks a significant moment in the Oak Island treasure hunt. This discovery, being the first piece of gold found on the island, suggests the presence or visitation of individuals of high status or wealth. The intricacy and material composition of the brooch point towards sophisticated craftsmanship and potentially valuable historical context hinting at the social standing of those who once tread upon or inhabited the island. In this discovery, Craig Tester's background played a crucial role in advancing the team's efforts and understanding of the artifact. While his expertise in engineering and scientific methods is well documented, it is his ability to integrate advanced technology and rigorous analysis techniques that stands out in this instance. By employing state-of-the-art detection equipment and analytical methods, Tester and the team could ascertain the composition and, possibly, the origin of the brooch, providing invaluable insights into the historical narrative of Oak Island. This approach to exploration, leveraging technology to delve deeper into the mysteries of the island, exemplifies the modern treasure hunter's toolkit. Tester's contribution, therefore, extends beyond mere discovery. It encompasses the critical evaluation and contextualization of finds, enriching the ongoing narrative of Oak Island with each significant artifact brought to light. The Booby Trap Spike The discovery of a booby trap spike near Shaft 6 in the Money Pit area stands as a testament to the island's layered history and the ingenious methods employed to safeguard its secrets. Craig Tester's role in uncovering this artifact highlights a different aspect of his expertise, his knack for interdisciplinary collaboration and leveraging the broader team's diverse skill sets. Rather than relying solely on engineering and scientific methods, this approach underscores the importance of historical knowledge, archaeological insight, and metal detection expertise in the Oak Island treasure hunt. The analysis and contextualization of the booby trap spike involved a blend of historical research, metallurgical testing, and archaeological interpretation, showcasing the team's comprehensive strategy for tackling the island's enigmas. Tester's ability to orchestrate these multifaceted investigations 
enabled the team to not only date the spike accurately, but also to speculate about its purpose and the historical activities around the money pit. This collaborative, interdisciplinary approach, facilitated by Tester, enriches our understanding of Oak Island's past. It paints a picture of an era where the fear of treasure theft led to elaborate protective measures, suggesting that the money pit holds secrets of significant value. As the team continues to piece together the island's history, each discovery, such as the booby trap spike, adds another layer to the narrative. Driving forward, the quest for answers that has captivated minds for centuries. The Ox Shoes The discovery of British ox shoes on Lot 13 on Oak Island suggests historical agricultural activity or the presence of large animals, intriguingly hinting at a connection to the Knights Templar. This find contributes to the evolving narrative of the island, suggesting a period of significant human activity and potentially pointing to the involvement of groups such as the Knights Templar, known for their historical mysteries and speculated ties to various historical sites. Craig Tester's involvement in this discovery showcases his innovative approach to the treasure hunt, emphasizing collaboration with experts in historical and archeological fields. By drawing on a network of historians, archaeologists, and other specialists, Tester helps bridge the gap between present-day explorations and the historical context of the island. This collaborative effort enables the team to interpret the significance of finds like the ox shoes within a broader historical narrative. The presence of ox shoes, artifacts typically associated with heavy labor and agriculture, suggests that Oak Island was more than just a transient site for hidden treasures. It may have been a place of work, habitation, or strategic importance. The connection to the Knights Templar, while speculative, opens exciting avenues for further research and exploration, driven by Tester's interdisciplinary approach to solving the mysteries of Oak Island. One of the most captivating discoveries that Tester and his team made was the ancient slipway at Smith's Cove. Uncovered during an extensive excavation, the slipway is believed to date back to the 18th century, suggesting sophisticated engineering and purposeful activity on the island long before the treasure hunt began. This find was crucial because it provided tangible evidence of historical human intervention on Oak Island, supporting theories that the island had been visited and possibly modified by people with a specific, yet unknown, purpose. Another remarkable find was the hatch, a mysterious structure also located at Smith's Cove. Its discovery raised numerous questions about its function and origins. Was it part of the original flood tunnel system, designed to protect the so-called money pit? Or did it serve another purpose entirely? The hatch added yet another layer of complexity to the island's history, offering a tantalizing clue that the island's secrets are far from being fully uncovered. The team's exploration of the swamp area led to one of the most intriguing finds, a wooden structure buried beneath the surface, which carbon dating suggested was from the early 1700s. This discovery was significant because it hinted at the presence of early settlers or treasure hunters on the island, potentially involved in activities related to the legendary treasure. The structure's purpose and origins remain a mystery, fueling further speculation and research. In the Money Pit area, Tester and the team unearthed various artifacts that have shed light on the human activity on the island. Among these were pieces of old parchment, bookbinding leather, and pottery fragments. Perhaps most tantalizing was the discovery of human bones, dated back centuries, from deep within the money pit. These findings suggest that the quest for whatever is hidden on Oak Island has been a dangerous one, costing some their lives. The artifacts from the Money Pit area are a stark reminder of the island's allure and the lengths to which people have gone in search of its secrets. Another significant discovery was a lead cross found at Smith's Cove, which predates the original Money Pit discovery by several centuries. This artifact, possibly dating back to the 1300s, has been linked to the Knights Templar, adding fuel to the theories that the island may have been used to hide sacred or valuable items by the medieval order. The cross is one of the most compelling pieces of evidence suggesting a connection between Oak Island and ancient European history. Tester's engineering background is a crucial piece of the Oak Island puzzle, but it's not just about knowing where to drill. 
It's about problem solving under pressure, improvising when things don't go as planned, and applying scientific principles to unearth centuries-old secrets. This guy brings a Sherlock Holmes-like analytical mind to the table, combined with the mechanical know-how of a seasoned engineer. Craig Tester's involvement in the Oak Island treasure hunt goes beyond drilling and engineering. He's also responsible for securing permissions for the digs, which isn't an easy task. It requires navigating bureaucratic hurdles and legal frameworks. Treasure hunting isn't just about the physical search. It also requires perseverance, patience, and a long-term perspective. Tester's involvement in Terra Energy, an oil company, has been a key part of his journey, especially in the context of the Oak Island treasure hunt. You see, success in the energy sector, particularly with a company like Terra Energy, isn't just about striking it rich with black gold. It's about the strategic thinking, risk management, and innovation needed to thrive in such a volatile industry. These skills and financial gains from Terra Energy provided Tester with a robust foundation, both in terms of resources and influence, crucial for the intense and costly pursuit of Oak Island's mysteries. Let's break it down. Being successful in the oil business means you're not just good, you're savvy. It's about knowing when to push forward and when to pull back, understanding the market, and making moves that others might shy away from. This kind of success speaks volumes about Tester's ability to navigate complex challenges, a skill set that's invaluable when you're dealing with something as fraught with unknowns as Oak Island. The financial resources accumulated through his business ventures allowed Tester the freedom to invest in technologies, equipment, and manpower necessary for such an ambitious project. Moreover, Tester's success with Terra Energy would have amplified his influence in circles that could further support the Oak Island venture. Financial clout often comes with connections, credibility, and the ability to rally resources and support around a cause. In the world of treasure hunting, where skepticism is the norm, having a solid reputation and the financial means to back up your ambitions can make all the difference. It's not just about being able to fund excavations or research. It's about being taken seriously by experts, historians, and local authorities. This financial backing and influence were crucial in the pursuit of Oak Island's mysteries for several reasons. First, treasure hunting is an expensive hobby. We're talking about heavy machinery, advanced technology like ground-penetrating radar, and a team of experts from various fields. Each of these comes with a hefty price tag. Tester's financial resources meant that the team could pursue leads more aggressively and sustain long-term searches, which are often necessary in endeavors like this. Second, Tester's involvement and investment in the project lent it a certain legitimacy and scale. It's one thing to have a group of enthusiasts digging around based on legends. It's entirely another to have a well-funded, technologically equipped team conducting a systematic search. This professionalism and commitment attracted more attention to the Oak Island mystery, drawing in experts, historians, and even a global audience through the television series, The Curse of Oak Island. So, Craig Tester and the squad are basically like modern-day treasure hunters on this tiny island in Nova Scotia, right? They're part of this show, which is pretty much about them trying to find this legendary treasure that's been the talk of the town for centuries. Imagine playing the world's most intense game of hide-and-seek, but instead of finding your little brother behind the couch, you're looking for ancient loot. That's their everyday. These guys aren't messing around with just shovels and metal detectors. Nah, they've got all the high-tech toys. We're talking ground-penetrating radars that can see underground, sonar to map out the bottom of the swamps, and even heavy drilling equipment to dig deep into the so-called money pit where everyone thinks the big jackpot is hiding. It's like they're using stuff from a sci-fi movie to dig up history. What happened to his son? It's a bit of a heart tugger, honestly. Craig's journey on Oak Island took a pretty emotional turn due to a personal tragedy that hit his family hard. His son, Drake Tester, who was just a young dude with a whole lot of life ahead of him, tragically passed away at the tender age of 16. Craig Tester, primarily recognized for his role as a producer and mechanical engineer on the show, experienced an unimaginable loss that deeply affected him and the show's community. 
Drake Tester's death was a heart-wrenching event, primarily because of its suddenness and the circumstances surrounding it. He died due to complications from a seizure disorder, a condition he had battled since birth. Despite the challenges posed by his health condition, Drake led an active and engaging life. He was a member of his high school's cross-country team and chorus, showcasing his spirit and determination. Drake's brief appearances on The Curse of Oak Island in 2013 left a lasting impression on fans and the show's cast. His involvement in two episodes, where he helped his father and the Legina brothers explore the mysteries of the money pit, highlighted his curiosity and adventurous spirit. His death left a void in the series, leading to his father, Craig, taking a step back from the show during the fifth season as the family dealt with the grief of losing Drake. Craig Tester's life, beyond the tragic loss of his son, reflects a journey of significant achievements and a deep connection with the curse of Oak Island. Tester, alongside his college roommate and Oak Island partner, Marty Legina, has been a pivotal figure in the series, bringing his engineering expertise and passion for solving the island's mysteries to the forefront. Beyond the show, Craig has built a substantial net worth, estimated at $5 million thanks to his successful career in ventures, including a prominent role in Oak Island Tours Incorporated, which owns a significant portion of Oak Island, and a wind turbine company considered one of the largest in the Midwestern United States. Drake wasn't just any kid, he was a part of the Oak Island adventure too. He appeared in a couple of episodes back in season three, digging in with his dad and the rest of the team like a champ. The kid had been battling a seizure disorder since he was a baby, a condition that would rear its ugly head every few years for a few minutes at a time. Despite this, Drake was all about living life to the fullest. He was a runner, a choir member, and just an all-around awesome person, loved by everyone for his positive vibes and infectious humor. Following Drake's passing, Craig's involvement in the Oak Island treasure hunt understandably shifted. He was heartbroken, as anyone would be. Initially, Craig found that focusing on the treasure hunt helped distract him from his grief. It was a way to keep moving forward with the support of his Oak Island family and the memory of Drake driving him. But eventually, the weight of the loss led him to step back from the show. Craig mentioned that being on the curse of Oak Island helped take his mind off losing Drake, but the pain and the memories made it tough for him to continue as before. Why did he disappear from the show? Tester's sudden absence from the series left viewers scrambling for answers. The theories vary widely, ranging from speculation that he was fired from the show to the belief that his exit was a personal choice, perhaps influenced by the profound loss of his son, Drake. First, let's tackle the idea of Tester being fired. This theory seems to have less traction among the more serious followers of the show. The Curse of Oak Island is as much about the camaraderie and collective determination of its treasure hunters as it is about the hunt itself. Tester, with his engineering expertise, critical thinking, and financial investment, has been integral to the team's efforts. His departure being the result of a firing seems out of step with the show's ethos and the mutual respect evident among its members. Additionally, there's been no official indication or credible source to support the notion that Tester's exit was anything other than a personal decision. On the other hand, the theory that Tester left for personal reasons, particularly due to the loss of his son Drake, carries more weight and seems to resonate more deeply with fans. Drake Tester, who made appearances on the show alongside his father and was beloved by fans and fellow treasure hunters alike, tragically passed away in 2017 from complications related to epilepsy. His death was a profound blow to the Tester family and the Oak Island team, a loss that was felt deeply by the show's viewers as well. Craig Tester's decision to step back could very well be attributed to the immense grief and the need to focus on his family during such a difficult time. The search for Oak Island's treasure is a demanding endeavor, both emotionally and physically. It requires significant time away from family, something that might have become unlivable, difficult for Tester after his son's passing. Fans speculate that his departure was a step towards healing, an attempt to find balance in the wake of tragedy. Well, what do you guys think? Do let us know your theories in the comments below and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this.